Hello everyone, this is Bad Weeaboo, and this video is just geared towards people that were wondering uh, about getting either the 970 EVO Plus or the WD750N, uh, or sorry, SN750. And I just wanted to show my results on user benchmark. As you can see, they're both performing just as they should be. Uh, from the looks of it though, just off of user benchmark, again, this could not be 100% accurate. But based off of the results, it looks like the 970 EVO Plus is somewhat ahead. Now, I don't know if that is because, because maybe the drivers or something. I do have the drivers updated for this as well, the SN750, but for some reason, it's a little bit slower. I'm sure that at a more advanced benchmark, it would come a ride around the same. So I'm gonna probably try that out for a later video. Uh, the results are indifferent, like actually working on it. There's like no difference whatsoever. Uh, I do also have this one empty. I just got it, so that could be part of it. There isn't really anything in it compared to the 970 EVO Plus, which has stuff in it. It's also my boot drive. I have no idea if that'll affect it, but I just thought I would share my results. So I did another benchmark. I used the Samson Magician benchmark. Now this is made by Samson, so it's possible it's biased, but I did try and use the WD software and it would not recognize the Samson drive. So this, but the Samson drive would recognize the WD drive. So I was like, well, or Samson software. So I use this and as you can see, they're literally neck and neck. I will say the write speed of the WD is a little bit behind, but it looks like it scored better in the random. So interesting information. Uh, I'd say the biggest difference overall that I see is literally the temperature is different. I'm not sure if this is reading right. Uh, let me go and open up this so we can confirm. Let's see. Yeah, temperature. So the temperature is higher. I don't know why that is. There might be a reason. Uh, this is the version with the heat sink on it. I do have the motherboard heat sink. It's a Asus heat sink that got one on the motherboard for the Samsung and it seems to be doing a great job uh, but the built-in heat sink the one with the heat sink for WD I have installed and the temps do seem higher uh, not really a concern to me at all I'm running an Intel CPU so uh, temps don't really concern me that much because <laughs> I push them to the limits but uh yeah that's it. I'm impressed with both. If you're considering one over the other, I believe currently the 970 EVO Plus is inex uh, it's less inexpensive. So it costs like, I think it's $20 less right now. So if you're looking for that, I think that's a deal. Um, if your motherboard doesn't have a heat sink, then I would recommend the EK just because it gives you a little bit of, you know, safe, safety for the future and probably drive life but if you have a heat sink you might as well just might as well just go for the samson but yeah thanks for watching i appreciate it um i'm terrible this is unscripted just showing you guys for those that were wondering i appreciate you for watching and uh, have a nice